everyone, and welcome back to From the Road. This is my very last From the Road for my Forward Together tour. So this tour has taken us to over 12 states in 40 different cities and or communities. It's been a real journey since about May last year, visiting so many of your churches around the world. And I'm so excited to see what happens next on my Reclaiming Church tour with my new book, Reclaiming Church, uh, A Call to Action for Religious Rejects, which comes out in February. So that'll start up at the end of January. I'll be traveling and the book comes out February 4th. Um, but I just wanted to take a second to thank you all for your support and for your continued presence on my YouTube channel and my social media. It really has been such an uplifting experience after that one three minute speech at General Conference to feel the support of a global connection has meant so much. And to people who I've never met before or who maybe aren't familiar with the church, but have felt called to this movement. I I'm really glad we've gotten to know each other. So I wanted to share this last video with you. I was in the South this week, my first time in the South, my Reclaiming Church tour next year will have many more visits to the South. But this is my first time to the South in Knoxville, Tennessee. And in Knoxville, there are no reconciling churches. That means no official church um, is, as a whole church, part of the Reconciling Ministries Network movement, which you can join online, rmnetwork.org. But this church, uh, this, this gathering was put together by the great folks at Church Street United Methodist Church in Knoxville, Tennessee. And so this group of folks within the church got together and brought people from all over the state of Tennessee, all over the Houston, uh, Holston Conference. And we came together for a day of workshops and a, a time of Q&A and getting to know each other. And so I've just been so uplifted and want to share that with you. You're about to see some of their stories, people from the South that are experiencing God calling them to move beyond barriers, barriers of exclusion for LGBTQ people and people of color. And so I want to bring these stories to you and thank you again for being part of this movement of moving forward toward the promised land of inclusion for all God's people together. My name is Nate Rourke. I'm from Bristol, Tennessee. Um, I am a male. I go by he, him pronouns. Um, for me, being an out gay senior, it has been a challenge, especially since I have wanted to go into ministry since eighth grade and have become a late certified. Um, and have preached at many churches throughout our district um, and then to come out with something so personal and feel like everything that you've done has been invalid um, so I hope to see a future of a church where all are accepted and you can be who you are be who you want to be and be who you were meant to be without fear Hi, I'm Chloe I I go with she, her pronouns. I am from East uh, Kingsport area. What, I didn't come out until about a year ago. And uh, but until then, I had just like tell myself, oh, I have to be straight. And then now that I was out, I told my mom and I told my sister, and they have been like my biggest support. My sister even started the GSA at her high school, which that struggled a bit. But now it's doing better, and she's at college. My mom now is the biggest ally that I have at my home. And she's now helping with the RM in, uh, in our area. And I'm happy to help her with that and just see how that's going to build. And I feel safer at my church now. And I'm just become happier because I know that I can be me and I can feel safe. And I can help others if they are unsure of themselves or if they just want to come out and see that like Jesus still loves you no matter what. Hi everyone, my name is Anna Galladay, she, her, hers. I am a pastor in the United Methodist Church, and I'm from Chattanooga, Tennessee. Um, in February of 2018, my credentials were rescinded, and I was rendered unemployed by the church because it was discovered that I did a same-sex wedding for a longtime member um, of my congregation and her wife. Um, it was one of the greatest joys of my life to be able to stand before them as their pastor 
because I truly believed that being their pastor meant that I was their pastor 365 days a year, in all ways, at all times. And my calling, not just as an ally in this work, but as an actual accomplice, means that I'm ready to put my body and my life, and unfortunately my job, on the line when it comes to the liberation of the people that I love. And so I continue to do this work inside the United Methodist Church, even though I'm no longer employed by it, um, because I believe that I'm a way bigger influence and quite frankly, a bigger pain in the butt from the inside than I'd ever be from the out. Um, and I hope that the six generations of United Methodist Wesleyans from my family that have come before me are proud of the work and the ways that I continue to let Wesleyan blood flow through my veins um, and influence the work that I'm doing in the world. There is